have a box. We have a scrape book that we use for our brownies and stuff. We have shelter. Flower. Flower. We have water. Mm -hmm. We have Kool-Aid. We have this. Salt. Salt. And oil. Oil. What are you making? We're making Play-Doh. Yay. All right. So first step, you're going to pour the flour into the bowl. Okay. Good job. You're going to pour the salt into the bowl. And you're going to pour the Kool-Aid. Now listen carefully. You're going to put the oil in the little blue cap into the water. Okay. Now with your spatula, I want you to mix the ingredients in your bowl. Talk to your, your viewers. Okay, we're mixing it up. What color is the Play-Doh going to be? It's going to be pink. Look at that color. Guys. Guys, we always have to make Play-Doh to make Play-Doh. That's how we make Play-Doh. All right. Get out, add a little bit of the water, not all of it. Do you need to make a cup scoop? Do you need help? I need, I need. Whoops, not all of it. I don't. Okay. You're gonna spill. Do it right over the thing. Whoa, oh, okay, mix that in. Ugh. It's okay if you spill. That's a no biggie, remember? All right. I think I can pour a little more in there. All right, now mix that all together. Guys, so, look at that. Can you see the pink? Let me focus see? that. Hold on. Yeah, it's turning pink. Yeah. And then we have to mold it when we're done mixing it. So we decided that we're going to try to do some of the pin traps, like Play-Dohs and slimes and let you guys know which ones work and which ones are a fail. I've had a lot of moms tell me that they've given up because so many ideas on Pinterest have become such a fail and such a pain to do. So we thought maybe if we can, we did them all and told you which ones work, right Kent? Yeah. Then you'll know which ones to do with your kids. If you have kids, do this. In case you guys didn't know, pink and purple are Kenzie's favorite colors, right Kenzie? Yeah. So maybe you guys take your hands in there and mush it together. What do you think? Not right now, it's too sticky. Okay. Okay, we need a little bit more. I wouldn't add any more water until you get rid of all that stickiness because Play-Doh's not sticky, huh? Yeah. So the recipe called for hot water. My problem with hot water is that if you're having your kids help you, you don't want to burn them. So I used to make a very similar recipe at the daycare I worked at and it seemed to work pretty well and we never used hot water so I'm hoping that this will work the same way. Okay, it's so not sticky but can you, I will check. It was still sticky. See? Yeah. Okay, Mama, I'm mixing it.
Look at that go. Huh? I think we achieved it. Yes. So I will post the recipe for this down in the description. And if you like this video and you want us to make more do-it-yourself videos, um, especially with some of the Pinterest things, comment which one you would like us to do. If there's one that you wanted to try but you don't want to go and buy all the stuff for it or you've had a hard time with some of them in the past and you want us to try to find one that actually works. We've done some of the slimes, we've done some of the different paints and stuff, so I may already even have an idea of which ones will work for you, because we tend to do a project like this at least once a week or so. So this is Kenzie's bin of Play-Doh toys. So in order to see if this actually works as Play-Doh, we have to play with the toys, huh? Worked really good for that. Ooh, that does look like a tongue, huh? Actually, it do that really well. Oh, I like it. Does it work, the Play-Doh? Yeah. All right, so you're gonna play with it for a little bit. Okay, so look at the camera. Bye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.